the ox for class 9 and 10, for 11 and 12, the good morrow, and Tinton Abbey, and for combined Ulysses. So let me ask you some questions from the ox for 9 and 10. Ox, who wrote this poem? I mean, who wrote this text? Harvard, Arnest, uh, Bates. Bates. So, Eight who is compared? Who is compared with the ox? Mrs. Tharlow. Mrs. Tharlow is compared with the ox. What's her name? Sumana Ghosh. Very good. Sit down. What's her name? Bonani Das. Bonani Das. So, are you interested in the poem Ulysses? Okay, now tell me, who wrote Ulysses? Ulysses. Lord Tennyson. So, what kind of poem is it? Romantic or Victorian? Victorian. Victorian poem. Sit down. Now, you tell me. <coughs> What's the full form of H. E. Bates? Harvard, Ernest, Bates. Bates. Okay. Now, uh, so is the text symbolic or not? Yes, yes, this is symbolic. Why? Because Mrs. Tharlow here uh, is uh, compared to an ox. Oh, uh, in, in which respect is he compared? Because she is a very hardworking woman. Yes. Like the ox, Mrs. Tharlow is very hardworking hard woman. woman. Okay, sit down. Now you tell me. Uh, <coughs> what's the name of the son of Ulysses? Telemachus. Telemachus, not telemachus. Okay. Uh, what does Ulysses want to do? He want to explore the world. He want to uh, know the unknown. That's why he wants to gain lots of knowledge. Lots of okay, sit down. Uh, the ox. Is the ox symbolic or not? Yes, sir. It's symbolic. Symbolic. Okay. Um, who wrote this text? It is written by A.G. Bates. A.G. E. Bates. Very good. Sit down. Now you tell me. List and at least two works that Mrs. Tharlow used to do. Two works. Dropping, uh, dropping loose are uh, washing clothes. Washing clothes. Very good. Okay. What's your name? Very good. Now you tell me. You tell me from Ulysses. Okay. Uh, Ulysses. In this poem, we celebrate Ulysses's homecoming or Ulysses's setting out on a journey. Which one is that? In the, in the poem Ulysses, uh, we had the celebration of setting out for a journey. Right. But in which piece, sit down, in which piece uh, we find the celebration of his homecoming? Homer's uh, Odyssey. Odyssey. In Homer's Odyssey, in we find the celebration of Ulysses' homecoming. Okay, very good. Now. Ulysses was the king of which province? Ulysses was the king of the province Ithaca. Ithaca, very good. What's your name? Oindos. Wow, well done. And you are new today? Yes. And I think uh, you will go a step further. Okay, sit down. What's your name? Suman Mondo. Suman Mondo, very good. Suman, uh, have you gone through the text, the ox? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, is the ox symbolic? Yes, sir, of course. Or symbolic. So the lady has a carriage. Name the carriage. Carriage. Carriage means uh, cycle. Is cycle is bicycle. Uh, Soulmate. So Soulmate. it is her only one companion. Companion. Right. Only companion. Bicycle. Okay. okay. Very good. So you tell me uh, during leisure time, what did she do? Though she did not get any leisure time, but to relax, to know the whole world, she did something. And she used to read newspaper. Very good. She used to read old, old newspaper. newspaper. Not that test newspaper. She used to read old newspaper. Okay, very good. Now you tell me, uh, can you tell me the age of the two children of Mrs. Carl? Nine and thirteen. Very good. But what's your name? 
श्रीमंत बा वेरी गुड सिट डाउन फ्रॉम हियर इट टू हैव गुड मॉरल सो व्हाट डू मीन बाय गुड मॉरल गुड मॉरल मींस द अवेकेंड ऑफ सोल बा अवेकेंड ऑफ सोल और द बर्थ ऑफ अवेकेंड इंडिविजुअल ओके वेरी गुड व्हाट्स योर नेम मुनीरा शेख सिट डाउन नाउ कंबाइन कंबाइन फ्रॉम यूलिसिस Name the son of Ulysses. Telemachus. Telemachus. Okay. What kind of monologue is it? Is it dramatic monologue or not? It's a dramatic monologue. So, who are the listeners here? Listeners are the um, mariners. Mariners. And his son, Telemachus. His son, Telemachus. So now, come on. Uh, one question. Uh, you tell me from good moral. Good moral. Who wrote the good moral? John Dunn wrote Good Morrow. So what kind of poem is it? I mean, is it metaphysical poem or not? It's a metaphysical poem. Sit so down. What do you mean by metaphysical poem? Uh, beyond the uh, beyond this beyond this physical physical world. When the concept goes beyond this physical world, it is called metaphysical poem. Here we find some characteristic features of metaphysical poem. Poem that is heart-based imagery and heart-based imagery. Okay, so do we consider good moral as a metaphysical poem? Yes. Okay, so here, what is the ultimate realization of the two lovers? Two lovers. What is the ultimate realization of the two lovers? The love between them is a really meta, um, meta metaphysical. Hmm, the love between them should be meta. true. And faithful, and that's why they do not seek for other pleasure. They should stick to their actual love. Understand? First name? Ananda Chakravarti. Ananda Chakravarti. Now you tell me from Ulysses. So Ulysses is a poem written in which period? Romantic or Victorian or modern? Victorian period. So can you tell me the actual writing time? Eighteen hundred thirty-three. Eighteen hundred thirty-three. Very good. Who wrote this poem? Tennyson. Lord Tennyson. Can you tell the name of his university friend? Arthur Hallam. Arthur Hallam. Okay. This text, I mean, this poem is extracted from which piece? It is taken from in in memoriam. In memoriam. Very good. I hope you are. Fully prepared and get ready for that. Okay, sit down.